Hello everyone, this is a video response to Black Bond. Now, let me just get off, um, you know, some information here first. I subscribe to Black Bond. I do believe that 99.9% .9 of the things he says is true. I do agree with his beliefs. I do agree with what he has to say when it comes to PC gaming and, you know, his beliefs upon the world of gaming. However, however, this is his very first video that I actually have to disagree with. And I'm going to back up my claim with evidence and, you know, let you guys decide who's right, who's wrong. But I'm going to give you guys my technical background when it comes to computers, how they work and such. He released a video today called 60 frames per second is welfare, 30 frames a second is homeless. And basically, you know, proving yet again that a PC can handle far higher frames per second over anything that's possible on a console. Uh, console games, the most you'll ever see is 60, and it's very far and few in between. Um, a lot of games have to dumb down the graphics to even achieve this without any anti-aliasing or anti-strophic filtering and such. So, in here he wrote this. In the world of gaming, the hierarchy goes as follows. 120 frames a second acceptable, 60 frames a second playable, but not ideal, and 30 frames a second not very playable. I agree, 30 frames per second, especially playing on this uh, machine, um, I have one game for some fucking reason, it's locked at 30 frames, it sucks. Um, it's called Split Second. It's a decent game, but unfortunately I hate playing it, because I, I feel like <laughs> I feel like I'm run, running an old ass machine, like it just sucks. But Here's the opening statement that is made, and I'm going to explain that it's not entirely wrong, but it's not exactly the case for everybody. So here's the opening statement. We don't have to deal with dipping all the way down to 60 FPS, which I personally can tell the difference between. I personally can tell the difference between uh, 60 and 120. Uh, 60 and. Okay. The opening statement, that's by Linus Tech Tips. That's the clip that Blockbond used. I'm also subscribed to that particular gentleman. Uh, he has a lot of good tech knowledge. Now, here's the deal. There are two, th two factors that determine what you can see when it comes to frames per second. Okay? It's regular frames per second. But there's also another limiting factor, and that is known as refresh rate. Uh, what you see here is actually something that not many people have and this is what is known as a 120 hertz uh, computer monitor or television uh, not many people have this but if you look personally at the frames can, per second counter it hovers between, around 120 I can tell the difference between uh, 60 and 120 so if we go back dipping all the way down to 60 fps which i personally can tell the difference between i personally it hovers around 120 yes it goes up maybe a frame or two uh, but that's all dependent on how well the V-Sync is on a particular game. So, he can see 120. But here's a problem. I can't see 120. And this is what I'm going to teach you guys. And this is how you can determine if you're able to see 120 frames a second or not. What we have here is the NVIDIA control panel. And this uh, explains what what's hooked up to my uh, graphics card. I have the GTX 680. So it's a pretty bitchin' card, currently running at 1080p, 1920 by 1080 and look at that, something called refresh rate. Now here's what my options are, 60 frames a second, 59, 50, 24, and 23. 60 hertz is how many times per second your computer monitor will refresh what is seen, what you're seeing on the screen. So it's able to redraw and change all the pixels 60 times a second. Um, it's like the old school boob tubes where it used to do interlay, so it used to do odds and evens, and it refreshes it, you know, ever, you know, so many times per second. And that's when you normally see scan lines. So back in the old days, when you had those uh, boob tube uh, computer monitors, you used to be able to set them to about 85 hertz. And trust me, the difference between 60 hertz and 85 hertz was day and night. All you had to do to really determine is, well, 60 frames a second would give you a headache, 85, 85 uh, hertz would not. And one of the things you could do is if you were looking at the screen at the corner of your eye, you would see the screen doing a flicker effect. It was just going like constantly, going like, you know, like this. You were just, 
You know, as you can see on my screen, it's just going flickering, flickering, flickering. Um, so I used to turn that up. Now, here's where it affects people in gaming. Now, my monitor can only handle 60 hertz. So I have Fraps open here, and we're going to launch Portal 2. So this is my Steam account. And you're going to see off the bat, uh, why the hell? I really hate this glossy ass shit. <laughs> um, because it's not focusing there. There you go. 60 frames per second is currently being reported on Portal 2. And it drops, you know, and stuff, but here we go. So what I'm going to do is right now it's running at 60 uh, frames a second. So we're going to go start a new game, of course, and we're going to do the surprise. And I'm still at 60. You know, it jumps up to 61 once in a blue moon and, you know, whatever. 50 frames, drops down. Here we go. So now I'm running. And... My computer is working, okay? So you can see 60, hertz, uh, 60 frames a second, and yeah, my game is working perfectly fine. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our settings. So we're gonna go options, video, advanced video, and then we have this, it's called wait for vertical sync, also known as V-Sync. So it explains what it is. Vertical sync options affect the trade-off between visual quality and mouse lag. Triple buffering is recommended for the smoothest experience, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we're gonna turn it off. So now it's gonna be disabled and we're going to apply that. So now, look at that. Now it's running at 279 frames a second. So I can turn this off and, okay. So now the game is working, I'm moving my mouse, it's running at 278, 79, 81 frames a second. And, but the problem is when, if you zoom out here, it creates screen tearing. So as you can see, as I move the mouse, you see how there's like jagged edges popping up on the screen? It's kind of like blocky and stuff. That's because the game is trying to run at 200 something frames a second but my computer monitor can only show 60. <laughs> so th this is the big issue, guys. When it comes to PC gaming, this is actually a very important thing to understand. For the most part, for most people, you're only gonna be able to see 60 frames a second because your computer monitor can only display 60 frames per second. The only way you can check to see if it can handle more is if you go into your refresh rate settings and see what it is. Most, like I would say almost every laptop out there is 60 hertz. My computer monitor is 60 hertz. My old one was 60 hertz. My television is 60 hertz. Um, you know, the, the rare exception would be, for instance, if you have a 3D television. I know this is a 3D TV, but however, the problem with this is it's really a limitation of HDMI. HDMI cannot handle 60 frames per second, or I mean, uh, uh, more than 60 hertz at 1080p. So you're really capped out at what you can see, and it sucks. But that's the reality of the factor. So Black Bond is not wrong, but it's not necessarily the case for everybody you're only going to be able to see 60 frames a second if your refresh rate is 60 frames a sec uh, 60 hertz. And you can use them interchangeably because they essentially are the same thing. Um, you know, hertz are what determines what you can see. So I hope that uh, cleared some things up for you guys. But I'm not, uh, again, I mean, hey, 100, 120 frames a second is better than, you know, 60. But again, you're not gonna see more if your computer screen can't physically display more. You know, so I highly recommend though, if you're gonna be a uh, PC gaming, turn on VSync. VSync makes sense. It's definitely a very good thing to do. And again, you know, if, if your monitor can support 120, by all means, throw it on 120, you won't be disappointed. However, you're not going to see it if your if your computer screen says 60 hertz you're not going to see more than 60 frames a second 
it's impossible it's just the way it is you know the screen is your limiting factor not your eyeballs your eyeballs can see more than 60 frames a second obviously but your screen is not going to let you see more than 60. I guarantee it. So take care guys, look out for future content.